guys， 大家好，欢迎来我的直播间。Welcome to my channel， 欢迎来到我的频道。Welcome to my channel。Welcome to my live stream， 欢迎来到我的直播直播间。I am Linda Huang， 我是黄老师。I'm Teacher Huang， yeah， my name is 黄慧。Huang is my surname， 慧 is my given name。In Chinese， when you call a teacher， you say the surname and the, the 老师。Yeah， the word 老师 ，which means teacher。So， 黄老师。That is the way you can call me. Okay. So I'm here teaching you guys Chinese, and、um, yeah, I'm doing this live stream yeah for a while. So if you guys want to learn Chinese with me, just、uh, feel free to join with me. We can interact with each other. You can also yeah ask questions and.、Um, Yeah, ask any questions about learning Chinese or Chinese language, Chinese culture. Yeah, anything about China. And、uh, yeah, you can also tell me what would you like to learn. Yeah, something specific that you want to learn. Yeah, I will. I will try my best to help you. Okay. Yeah, last time we talked about something. Yeah, how how did you do something? Yeah, and also we know a structure. Yeah, which is the 是的 Yeah, which is used for emphasis. Yeah, you can use this structure to emphasize time, place, or manner. So today we're going to continue. Okay, continue our class. Yeah, we can continue. Continue. Yeah, let's continue our class. So let's see this class. Yeah. So 是 and 的 Yeah, we learned 是 and 的 last time. So 是 Yeah, which is like the English word to be and 的 Yeah, which is part of a word, but uh, 是 the yeah doesn't means to be here. It's just used for emphasis in Chinese, so it's different. Kind of a、uh, yeah something that you would like to emphasize. Okay, yeah. So if you are not、uh, sure how to say it, yeah, let's see some examples. I hope. This will make you much more clear. So here you can see there are some examples. Okay. So here you can see yeah there are uh three sentences that use the 是 and 的 Now let me show you. Okay. Now it's bigger. So you can see it more clearly. Okay, so the first one. Let's see. So, 我 yeah, the subject. First, you say subject, and then you say the structure 是 and then you can say something about time or place or manner. Okay, for example, yeah, the word 嗯，昨天 yeah, 子我昨昨天 Yeah, which means yesterday. 昨天，昨天 ，yesterday. And the verb, which is 来 and also 的 yeah, which is a part of word we use in the end of this sentence. So this whole sentence, 我。是昨天来的。我是昨天来的。Okay, I. When you translate, you can just、uh, yeah. Omit. This 是 and 的 Yeah, you just translate the rest. 我 so 我 I. 
and 昨天 yesterday, 来 okay in English you need to say came. In Chinese we still keep the same form of this verb. So yeah, we still say come. So I yesterday come. And if you want to emphasize the word 昨天 so you can see 我是昨天来的是昨天来的 so. Yeah, emphasize something. So you just say "shi" before this word. Okay. Okay, omit it. Yeah, "shi" can be omitted. So you can just say "我昨天来的." So "shi" can be omitted. Okay, now let's say the second sentence. Let's say what、uh, is going to emphasize. Okay, the subject, "zhe." And the structure is "de." Okay, so after "is" in Beijing, in Beijing, Beijing at Beijing. This is in Beijing. Buy, buy. This is in Beijing. Buy. So she can be omitted, right? Yeah, here. Yeah, you know this is she. Yeah, 这是在北京买的。这在北京买的。Actually, same meaning. But if you say she, yeah, you emphasize the place. Yeah, 在北京 not、uh, at Shanghai at Beijing. Yeah, I I bought it、uh, at Beijing, not at Shanghai, not at other cities. Okay, something specific in Beijing from Beijing, right? Okay, next one. 你们你们 yeah, you the plural form of you and the word 是是是 emphasize and then 怎么 Okay, this one is about the manner. So 怎么怎么 yeah, 好 and 来饭店 ，Yeah. Next word, 来饭店，来饭店，来饭店，来饭店。你们 ，Yeah. 你们 ，You, Yeah. 是怎么来饭店的 ？You. How? Yeah, 来饭店 which means come to restaurant or hotel. Yeah, so this one emphasizes the yeah the manner. 怎么怎么 Yeah, so because this is a a question, so when you answer, yeah, you can、uh, follow the same structure. So to answer this question, you can say, 我们 We are. Yeah, we are. You can omit the "shi" as well. We are. Okay, 地铁 Okay, we haven't mentioned this word last time. So yeah, I would like to mention this word today. So 坐地铁 which means take subway, take metro. Yeah, and then 来饭店的来饭店 So that is the the same structure, yeah, right, guys. So 你们 you change to 我们 and 是 you can keep it or you can omit it. And 怎么 yeah, that is a question. And here you answer it. 坐地铁 which means take metro. 来饭店 and you can also yeah duplicate. So, 来饭店 yeah, come to hotel. The yeah. So, 我们坐地铁来饭店的 or 我们是坐地铁来饭店 If you use 是 so you emphasize the way. Yeah, how you come. So you come by metro. Yeah, not、uh, by car, not by taxi, not by walking. Yeah. So you emphasize the way. Yeah. So clear, guys. Yeah, I I hope you know how to use this structure. 是的，是的。
Okay, now let's uh, say the negative form. Okay, I'm going to write the pin for you guys. Okay, so don't worry if you don't know this uh, character. No problem. We still can learn how to say them because we have a very useful tool which is called pin in. Yeah, so the first sentence. Yeah. Yesterday. And okay, let's say the first sentence. 我不是昨天来的 Okay, you need to add the word 不 Yeah, before 是 um, 不, you know 不, right? 不, 不, 不 Originally 不 is a falling tone So 不 is a falling tone So 不 Yeah, just like the English words No 不 不, 不. But when you say 不 Yeah In Chinese, it's kind of the same as you say English word no, yeah, very, very sharp, very strong, yeah, it's a sharp falling tone. Boom. But here, yeah, have you noticed that it changed to a rising tone? So, bu shi. Why? Because shi is a falling tone. So, bu before shi, bu will change to a rising tone. Okay, so, bu shi. Bu shi. Yeah, so. Uh, in this way, it makes you, you pronounce these two words much more easier. Yeah, so up, down. The tone go up and then tone go down. Yeah, if you say two, a falling tone together, kind of uh, hard to say. So, 不是, we don't say that. It sounds not natural, not native speaker's way. So, we say 不是, 不是. So, 我不是. 不是, 不是昨天来的, so I didn't come yesterday, yeah, that's how you say English, in Chinese you say 我不是, so I was not yesterday come, yeah, so you need to add 不 in front of 是, yeah, that is negative form, which is quite a, a straightforward structure, right, yeah, nothing else changed. Okay, now let's say the second sentence. 这, yeah, this. Okay, the same. 不是, same. So I don't have to write. And then, so 不是 what? So 不是在北京? 不是在北京? So not at Beijing. But hey, 北京,京不是在北京买的。so emphasize, so 不是 emphasize, uh, yeah, not at Beijing, 就不是在北京买的, so, yeah, something that not bought from Beijing, yes, you bought from some other cities. Okay, now let's see the question 3, 我们, yeah, which is a plural form of 我, 我们, and then 不是, Okay, 坐出租车, which means to take taxi. 坐出租车, 坐出租车. 我们不是坐出租车来的. 我们, 我们, we, yeah, and the negative not, yeah, take taxi, come, yeah. So that is how we use 是的, this structure. Okay, guys, now let's try to make sentence with 是的. So you can emphasize about time, you can emphasize about place, you can also emphasize about a manner. So, yeah, for example, let's uh, make a sentence that we can emphasize about time. 
So how about uh, uh, you? You want to say, yeah, I came to Dubai five years ago. Okay, yeah, that is uh, my scenario. Okay, so how should I say it, guys? Could you help me? 我是 Okay, you can see I use the yeah the subject 我 yeah 我 right, and then I'm going to use the word 是 I'm going to emphasize something. So what I'm going to emphasize, I'm going to emphasize the time which is five years ago. So how do you say it? 五年前 yeah, 五年, which means five years. 前, which means ago, so five years ago. 我是五年前来的 Okay, it's a comma. 我是五年前来的 Okay, is that clear? Guys, thanks for helping. Cecil. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, that is my sentence. How about yours? Yeah. If you, you live in a city that is not your hometown, you can talk about uh, yeah, when did you come here? Use the emphasize structure. Yeah. For example, what sure Yeah, you can also say the specific year. For example, 我是, 我是, yeah, 2019年来divide, divide, so 是的, right? I'm using this structure, 是的, 是的, she and do is here. Yeah, you can also say 我二零一九年来的 Yeah, you can omit this one. But now let's use a, a negative form. Yeah, so if I want to say I came to Dubai not at the year uh, 2019, how do I say? So it's very simple. I just uh, add the bull. But bu will change to bu, bu shi. So what bu shi, but shi here, you cannot omit it because the bu always together with shi here in this structure. So you cannot uh, just remove it. No. So you say, yeah, 我不是2019年来迪拜的. So might be some other year, for example, yeah, a year. One year earlier, like uh, yeah, early yeah, two thousand and eighteen, right? So that is how you yeah make this sentence to emphasize about time. Okay, now let's make another sentence. Let's emphasize about some place. Okay, um, you know, yeah, now I'm living in Dubai, but I still buy a lot of stuff from China. So <laughs> if I want to say, I want to emphasize uh, this stuff. Okay, for example, yeah, the the, the writing boards I'm using. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I can see, yeah, 这 if you don't know how to say the writing board, guys, you can always use the word 这个 or 这个, 这个 or 这, 这, 这. Yeah, I, I know how to say writing board. Do you want to say it? Do you want to say it? <laughs> okay, 写字板, you can say 写字板. You, if you don't know how to say it, guys, or remember, you have a very useful word, which is 这 or 这个, 这个, yeah, 这个. 这个是在 
OK， 在中国，你看，在中国买的，在中国买的。Yeah, so you can say the structure shi and the is here used to emphasize 在中国 yeah, 在 China, so not uh, not here, not here in Dubai, not uh, some from other places, just from China. Got it? Yeah, because a lot of things I bought from China and shipped here. Yeah, because I can always buy something good, good price, and also with yeah good quality, and also have more choices. Okay, so if you want to say the negative form, yeah, the same. You just add bu before shi, but shi here you cannot omit it. Okay, guys, you know how to how to make this sentence, right? Yeah, so if you want to say something, some words, yeah, you don't know how to say, remember, always remember. Yeah, you can use the word 这个, point and say 这个, so 这个, yeah, 这个是在中国买的, so this one, yeah, at China, buy. Okay, this one, 这个, the keyboard, okay, 这个, 电脑, yeah, this computer, and this this cell phone. Okay, this yeah, this book. Yeah, a lot of things. 对, 很多东西, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, now let's emphasize something like a manner. Yeah, so, for example, you want to say, yeah, I... Um, go to class. Yeah, you know I need to go, go to class. Yeah, sometimes go outside. Sometimes I just do yeah online. So if I want to say yeah, or I I want to say that uh, I would like I I will I I I went for class. Yeah. Um, by metro, so I can see. Yeah, emphasize the manner. Yeah, I was. I was So, to Yeah, I yeah and she and okay to yeah take metro was to yeah go to class right was to you want to ask question yeah so this part you change to which means how Okay, clear guys. I think <laughs> you're clear. It's not complicated, right? To use this structure. Yeah, remember we can use 是的 yeah, to emphasize the time, place, or manner. Yeah, and you just uh, uh, memorize some example sentences and then yeah, you try to use uh, the example sentence. Yeah, you just uh, read yeah, more than yeah, three times, and then you got feeling how to use it, and then you try to make a very similar sentence. Yeah, very very similar sentence. You just do the replacement, and then you know, yeah, how to use this structure, and uh, you can make um, different kinds of. Uh, of sentences by the same structure and you know how to use a language properly yeah that is something yeah very basic something very useful yeah to master some sentence patterns yeah and it's very useful guys you can you can you can you can copy this kind of way which is very useful so you can see i just uh, yeah 
use the same kind of same structure. Yeah, I just uh, replace some words and then I make my own own style. Yeah, and uh, I feel good. Yeah, you guys can do it too. Okay, now we are going to talk about something that how Chinese people express a date. So if you want to say a complete yeah, date, you need to say the year, month, date, right? Sometimes you can also add the day of the week. So how do you say it? So actually very easy. Yeah. Um, Chinese way, we always say something from the bigger unit to the smaller unit. Yeah, it's not like English. Okay, we say we would like to say something bigger first. Okay, so for example, let's say uh, today's date. Yeah, today's date, which is April fifteenth. Yeah, twenty twenty four. Right in Chinese, how do you say? Yeah, in Chinese, yeah, bigger unit. Right, so bigger unit that is a year. So we say 2024. 2024年, yeah, 年, remember, yeah, year, and then we say the month, which is, um, yeah, the full month, and then we say the word 月, which means month. Okay, now we say the date, yeah, 15th, 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 and then you say the word 号, 号, which is the yeah, informal way. If you want to say the formal way, you can say Yeah, when you write a letter, write an email. Yeah, the proper way to say to write, you use the word er. But when we talk, yeah, you can say ho. Right. So that is a yeah proper way for Chinese people to say the. Year, month, and date. And you can also uh, mention about the day of the week, which is, yeah, Monday. Today is Monday. How do you say Monday? Monday. So that is 星期, 星期一. 星期一. Okay, guys. Yeah, that is the way how you say, yeah, Monday. Very easy, right? Xiongqi, and then you say the number yi. Yeah, Xiongqi, 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 and Xiongqi, Tian. Yeah, Xiongqi, Tian, which is the colloquial way. And if you want to say the formal way, you can say Xiongqi, Er. Yeah, same word of this one. Okay, guys, thanks for your question. Yeah, this is live live stream. Okay. Yeah. So now you guys know how to say the date, right? Yeah. And for the year. Okay. Yeah, Queen, you are always doing well. Yeah, that's a good job. Yeah, you know very clearly. Yeah, 很好. You're awesome. 你真棒. Okay, so the year, year we say, yeah, directly, 2024, yeah, in Chinese, yeah, the very direct way. So, are you, are you clear, guys? Now, let's say another, another date, okay, and how we write, okay, let me, let me show you how we write, we, we just write, you can write like this, okay, the end. Yeah, you can write a dot DM and then the months and then yeah the fifteenth. Yeah, if you live in China, yeah you will notice how Chinese people write yeah the date. Yeah we can write this yeah at the end of the letter you can write the date like this. Yeah people will understand you very well. Okay, yeah when you fill some form in China yeah, you always yeah, write uh, the, from the bigger unit to smaller ones. Yeah, like this way. Okay, guys, now let's see another 
date. Yeah, so this one, how do you say it? How do you say it? R. Ling Ling Nian. Yeah, Nian. You can also say Liang Tian Nian. Yeah, but R. Ling 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 Nian is much easier, right? Liang Tian. Liang Tian. You can also say Liang Tian. Liang Tian. Liang Tian Nian. And then here, ba, yeah, ba, yue, month, and then, shi, jiu, shi, jiu, yeah, I'm writing here, shi, jiu, and then you can say, hao, hao, or ri, yeah, that is uh, the Chinese way, very easy, I think, uh, yeah, you can use very well, because we just use a very logical way. Okay. Now let's see the questions. Questions. Okay. So for these questions, we need to answer based on the dialogues we learned before. So let's see the questions from the first one. Okay. Taman, Taman, which means the. Yeah, Taman Shi Shemashiho. which means when Ren means meet and du shi du is a structure. Yeah, shi du. So when you translate, you just translate Taman Sh Taman Zi Shemashiho Wen Ren meet the when meet. Okay, Taman Shi Shemashiho Ren so guys, do you remember? If you don't remember, no problem. So we just need to find the keyword in the dialogue. So what is the keyword? You need to know the keyword here can be this one. Yeah, so, and also, so we just find the exact same word and then we're going to find the answer. Okay, guys, have you found it? The keywords? I already found it, it's here. So, yeah, it's here, and Renshi is here, and then you will find the answer. So, yeah, guys, yeah, have you noticed that? Yeah, we always say Nian first, and then we say Yue. So, that is the, yeah, the answer. Very easy, right? Yeah. And next question, Okay, this keyword is what? 在哪? Right, so we just go back to find the keyword 在哪? Yeah, 在哪? Okay, guys, already found it. Yeah, have you found it? It's here, 在哪? And then, yeah, you will find the Answer. Zai. Shishiao. Yeah. At school. Zai shishiao. Zai shishiao. Okay, now let's move on to the question three. Zai kan kan di sangu. Okay, Taman, the shi zem chu fan dian de. Okay, the keyword, what is keywords here? Yeah, 怎么去饭店? Yeah, let's find the yeah, the keyword. 怎么去饭店? Okay, I found it. Yeah, for the questions, a little bit different because here uses 怎么来看来饭店? Okay, but for you to ask question, you can say 怎么来饭店? And we we'll find answer here, 做出租车? So the question is Chu. Yeah, you also answer Chu. So, Taman Shi Zuo Chu Zu Chu Chu. Yeah, that can be the answer. You can also um, answer in a complete way. So, Taman Shi Zuo Chu Zu Chu Chu Fan Dian. Okay, now 
Let's see the next question. 第四个问题 ，Yeah, the question four. 李先生，李先生。李先生是坐出租车。李先生是坐出租车去饭店的吗 ？OK， Mr. Li， yeah， OK， 坐出租车去饭店的吗 ？OK， 坐出租车。哦、oh, ， we just。Yeah, found this question, right? Okay, if you're not quite sure, let's、uh, find again. Okay, so here this one keyword you need to memorize, Mr. Lee. Yeah, specifically about Mr. Lee. Okay,、well, how how can we find? Yeah, have or have you found it? I found it. Okay, Mr. Lee, Li 先生 Okay, Li 先生 No. Okay, here the answer. 开车 Yeah, found it. 开车 ，so 李先生 ，OK. If you want to answer, yeah, 不是坐出租车来的，他是和朋友一起开车来的。Yeah, that is、uh, the answer for this one. 李先生不是。So the question, yeah, 是坐出租车来饭店的吗 ？So your first.、Uh, Yeah, you need to give the negative answer. So, 不是 yeah, 不是 you can simply say, yeah, 不是不是他是和朋友开车来的 Okay, question five, 第五个问题 Yeah, 李小姐 So this person you need to remember, 李小姐是怎么来北京的 Yeah, Miss Lee. Yeah, how come to Beijing? Yeah, now let's find the key word, key person. We uh, it's uh, Miss Lee. Yeah, Li 小姐 Oh, where is Miss Lee? Miss Lee is here. Li 小姐 is here. Here, right? Li 小姐 So, 很高兴认识您，李小姐，认识你，我也很高兴。Yeah, know you. I also very happy. 听张先生说，您是坐飞机。Okay, here we find the way. 坐飞机。Yeah, take airplane. 是的，是的。Yes. So, what is the 李小姐 way? 坐飞机 ，right? So, how to answer this question? 李小姐是怎么来北京的？她是坐飞机来。北京的 ，clear guys， yeah， so， yeah， so the above content， yeah， what we learn today， any questions？ We learned how to use the shi structure， it can be used for emphasize， yeah， the time， place， the manner， you can also use to ask。Yeah, these kind of questions you can also answer these questions in positive way and also negative way. Yeah, and also we do know. Yeah, we also know how to say the time, say the you know the 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 year, month, date, and also days of day in Chinese. Yeah. Okay, any questions? You may want me. Yeah, let me know. If you guys have any questions, yeah, let me check your messages. Okay. You may have one thing. May have one thing. No questions. Okay, great. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you again.